Okay guys, um, quick video this morning and I wanted to um, share something with you that was that's quite personal to me but it kind of helps me get um, motivated at times, it helps with my, with my motivation, okay? Now, when I was born, although my name is Paul Coshot, okay, when I was born, it used to be spelt cockshot, okay? And throughout my younger years, it didn't really bother me at all because the name was pronounced Coshot, but it was spelt cockshot. Only sometimes, I think, if I was at public places, let's say I went to doctors or I went to dentist, sometimes that name would be read out as cockshot and not co-shot and make me feel a bit um, embarrassed. Well, it was embarrassing. And, um, but as I say, it didn't really affect me much throughout the early years of my life. Um, and then when I went into senior school and um, again, throughout the first three years of senior school, I went to an old boys school, uh, quite a rough school, quite a tough school that I went to. And then again, the name didn't really affect me too much, okay, at that, at that point. Um, but then when I went into fourth year, um, seniors, our school then amalgamated with an all girls school, okay? And then when we, um, when we used to have school assemblies um, and my name got read out as Paul Cockshot and not Paul Coshot, it was massively embarrassing because I'm, I was now in a room full of, I don't know, maybe 200 pupils in my year and half of them being girls. So you can imagine that you've got like 90% of the uh, whole laughing at you or making fun of your name. And it was just massively embarrassing, massively embarrassing. In fact, I also wore a, a brace at the time uh, I had teeth like Ken Dodd and I had to wear a brace so it wasn't really it wasn't really an experience that um, that contributed towards my confidence if anything it destroyed it um, nothing against the name nothing against my relatives um, who've got that name who were born with with the name but it massively uh, destroyed my confidence and it wasn't a comfortable time when we and when the school amalgamated and then as I say we mixed with all girls I was wearing a brace my name was getting read out as cockshot it wasn't really a comfortable time for me and in the end I just couldn't I couldn't wait to leave school I just couldn't wait but here's how it's here's how it helps me sometimes okay and the same thing might be able to help yourself and that is sometimes uh, when I'm not really feeling as motivated as I would like to be let's say I go to the gym and I can't be asked um, or there's things that I need to do with regard to the business I need to do marketing or something like that and there are times when I can't be asked and I was I think about those experiences that I had when I was at school, getting called cockshot in front of that, in front of those, uh, you know, in the middle of the hall, and remembering how it made me feel, okay, totally destroyed my confidence. And what that does, when I think about those past experiences and how, how it made me feel, it can fire up my motivation pretty instantly. Um, to a point where I feel ultra determined so I can go from not really I can't be asked to all of a sudden I can be highly motivated okay and I draw on those negative experiences to help drive me forward at times that's what works for me okay it may not work for you but my tip is 
today or this morning is can you draw on any negative experiences that have happened to you in in your early years of your life or maybe recently can you use them to help motivate you towards the things that you need to do okay now i don't want you to dwell when i think about these experiences i just i use them uh, to go to the gym not all the time but i use them to go to the gym or go to a martial arts class or something like that and then that is it that is forgotten about okay so i don't want you to dwell on the experiences and put you in a negative state throughout the day or the week but are there any negative experiences maybe rejection or something like that or you felt highly embarrassed are there any negative experiences that you can draw on that can help move you forward towards that the things that you need to do okay whether that be going to the gym changing your job changing the relationship doing something about your finances whatever okay what are there any things that you can draw on that can help move you forward okay so have a think as i say don't want you to dwell on it and hope the tip helps my name is co shot now by the way it's it's co shot um, in fact in the end they changed the name we changed the name to co shot but if any questions with regard to this then just shoot me a message and i'll be happy to help okay but i hope that tip helps for today okay thank you